Welcome to learning IBM SPSS Statistics, a video course by PAC Publishing. In this video, we're going to provide a course overview, but before we do that, we're just going to introduce you to both of your instructors. Jesus Salcedo has a PhD in psychometrics from Fordham University. He is an independent statistical consultant that has been using SPSS products for over 20 years. He is a former SPSS curriculum team lead and a senior education specialist who has written numerous SPSS training courses and trained thousands of users. Keith McCormick is a career-long practitioner of predictive analytics and data science. He has engaged in statistical modeling, data mining, and mentoring of others in the area for more than 20 years. He has a particular expertise in helping organizations perform their first predictive analytics project or building their first predictive analytics practice and has done so in a variety of industries, including healthcare, banking, telecommunications, nonprofit, direct mail, pharmaceuticals, and retail. Keith is also an established author and speaker with four books in print or under contract. Although his consulting work is not restricted to any one tool, his writing and speaking has made him particularly well known in the IBM SPSS statistics and IBM SPSS modeler communities. This video course consists of step-by-step -step software demonstrations geared to familiarize new users of IBM SPSS statistics with the software. The first chapter focuses on what SPSS statistics is, on what it does, who uses it, and how it is used. The chapter then introduces new users to the IBM SPSS statistics user interface so that they can become more familiar with the windows, menus, and dialog boxes that are part of the software. Finally, the first chapter discusses the steps to analyzing data and some of the typical analyses users might perform. The second chapter focuses on summarizing individual variables. Specifically, this chapter discusses some of the reasons users need to summarize variables and which summary statistics are relevant given the type of data that they are summarizing. This chapter also illustrates several procedures, such as the frequencies and descriptives procedures, which assist in providing summary statistics, and we will also show how to obtain confidence intervals. Finally, the chart builder is introduced so that users can create pie charts, simple bar charts, and histograms. The third and final chapter of this video course shows users how to perform and interpret the results of basic statistical analyses and graphical displays. Users will learn when to use different statistical techniques, how to set up different analyses, and how to interpret the results. The third chapter begins by introducing the idea of inferential statistics and hypothesis testing, and then moves on to discuss independent samples t-tests, cross-tabs, and chi-squared tests, as well as correlations. In addition, visual displays are created so that users can better present their findings by showing error bar charts, bar charts with a mean, cluster bar charts, and scatter plots. If you are following along with the videos, the only prerequisites that we have are that you must have a copy of IBM SPSS statistics. These videos were created with version 23 of the software. If you have a different version of the software, some of the dialog boxes might be slightly different, but you'll still be able to perform all of the procedures that we've discussed. In addition, it certainly is useful to have taken an introductory statistics course. Here, we only spent a short amount of time discussing different techniques, but if you have a whole semester's worth of experience with these different statistical techniques, you will certainly be able to benefit even more. Now with that out of the way, let's get started and learn about how to use IBM SPSS statistics.